The unknowns and the concerns about this variant have people asking what's the difference between the Omicron and the Delta variants. While lots of information is still being researched, doctors are learning some differences right off the bat. Our Brianna Whitney breaks it all down. Let's start with what doctors say is concerning them most about Omicron. This variant has a high number of mutations, more than they've seen with Delta. The big story and why people are concerned with this is it has about 50 mutations. To put that into perspective, Delta had about half that. Global immunity is so important or else we're never going to, this is not going to be the last variant we see. Dr. Frank Lavecchio and Dr. Sam Durrani both work in Valley hospitals treating COVID patients. So both are carefully studying the research coming out of South Africa about the Omicron variant. They say if it's not already in the United States, it will be very soon. But Omicron sets itself apart in some other ways too. So far, it seems the symptoms are a little bit different than other variants. What we're hearing from other doctors is the patients really just want to sleep. They want to be left alone, go to sleep, but it seems they're not getting pneumonia or lacking oxygen or requiring hospitalization so far. The other thing that's interesting is that it doesn't, they, they all seem to keep their sense of taste and smell. So far, both Lavecchio and Durrani say the Omicron variant seems to spread quickly, so rate of transmission is being studied heavily in the next two weeks, with new and updated information expected soon, including whether Omicron will evade our current vaccines. But the doctors hope more people who are vaccinated will help prevent against any fatal cases. I still don't think you'll see severe uh, disease in vaccinated people because it's not going to be a naive immune response. New cases have already popped up in other countries like Canada and just tonight, German health officials confirming a new case in Germany with a patient who had no travel history. Now, because of concern, more than 40 countries and territories have put some sort of travel restrictions into place with everything expected to evolve in the coming weeks. Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.